Hello everybody and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This is a two-part video for Dimensions Math. I posted the part one yesterday, so if you haven't seen that and you're interested, go back and check that out. Otherwise, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday, where we're going to be working with the activities in Dimensions 1A. Thank you so much for checking us out. Give us a thumbs up if you're liking this video, and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Let's get started. All right, so we have some activities here. We're going to go to the magic thumb is what it's called. Wait, what? So pointing my thumb up or down, we're going to count up and down within 10 by ones, okay? So for example, I'll start out saying, let's count by ones starting at four, okay? The first number is four. Then you're going to be, you're gonna say four, and then I'm gonna point my thumb either up or down. If I point it up, what number are we gonna say? Five. Mm -hmm. If I point it down, what number are we gonna say? Three. That's right. And if you're enjoying this video, give us a thumbs up, right? Yeah. <laughs> All give right. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start out with the number five, okay? Five, six. Okay. Five, six, seven. Seven. Good job. Yep. Okay. Now, this time, let's start with three. Ready? Mm -hmm. Um, two. Okay. Um, three. Okay. Um, four. Okay. Five. Okay. Um, four. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Easy peasy, huh? So you can just keep doing that until your child feels pretty comfortable going up and down by one. All right, now another activity that we could do is it says play outside or in a gym. Have students make a large circle, then close their eyes. Select some students to run around in the circle with their eyes. And so this is not really, uh, this isn't really an activity that we could do, but that's okay. Not every single activity you are going to be able to do, but most of the time there are multiple activities that you can do, and so it, no, it's okay. All right, the next thing that it says to do is you're going to have a black line master here. Again, this isn't one that I think I necessarily need to print off, so what she's going to use is her salt box right here. And so it says give each student a copy of color it, trace it, write it, and that is what the image would look like. And then the student will color in the tin frame, trace the number with a pencil, and then write the numeral and the number word. So what I'm going to have her do, rather than just having the piece of paper, she loves using the salt box. And if you haven't seen this in insulting. any of my... Yes, she calls it insulting. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before, this is a salt box. It's just a little craft box that I purchased. I put some salt in here and then she can use it to write things. And so that's what I'm gonna have her do for the number one, two, and then I'm also gonna have her write the word. Now this will be a little bit harder when we get to like the bigger, like three and seven, the longer words, but I think it'll be okay anyways. And so what I will do is I'm going to let her start with this. All right, so we're going to be looking at the number chart that we had earlier. So I'm going to ask her to write the word that she sees also. So write the number one and then write the word one. Okay. All right, very good. And then it also said for them to put it on a Tim frame. I'm not going to make her do that today just because that's something that I know she knows how to do, so there's no point in doing a, a project that we don't need to do. And so that's just, she would just add this to it. So go ahead and do the number two, please. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna keep recording her and then we will pick back up at the next one in a few moments. Finishing up with the salt tray here and as you can see this is just a wonderful way to practice writing and if you have a little perfectionist this takes off a little bit of the pressure because it doesn't seem such a big deal if there might be a little oops and because you can just shake it and start over and it's not a big deal so this and a whiteboard are a perfectionist writer's best friend I think and it's kind of fun to listen to it huh and I'm just going to touch it. Go ahead. All right, so she's finished up with that, and now we're going to go into the final thing. This is a star. If you saw my initial flip through, you may have noticed that we looked at the activities and how they're different. They're coded differently with a circle, a triangle, and a star. So we have foundational activities, on-level activities, and then challenge or extension activities. And so we see the very last activity in the lesson is a challenge activity. And it is a next number snap. And it says that you either need two sets of number cards that you can print off or just a deck of cards with the face cards removed. So that is what I have done. I've taken a deck of cards. I've removed all the face cards. And so that's how we're going to play this. And so you'll, what we're gonna do is we're going to deal the cards out. We're gonna take turns flipping them over. And if a player puts down a card that is one more than the top card, then they say snap. And the person to say snap collects the discard pile. The game ends with a player is out of cards. The player with the most cards wins. As you can see, even though we didn't get to do the second activity here, there were still three that we could do and sometimes that's more than what we would really want to do in a day. So you ready to play next number snap? Aw, thank you. <laughs> you want to put it in there? And then this is just a chopstick. So I put that in there. It fits perfectly. We set it to the side and then it's ready for the next time we want to use it. Okay, I'm only going to deal out 10. I'm going to set these over to the side just because little hands, it's hard to hold many more than that. So do go ahead. You got 10? I do. I have 10 and you have 10. And what we're going to do is we are going to, ah. I'm just going to take a card from this extra stack. And you actually don't look at them. Sorry. Oh. You go like that. I'm going to flip this card over. If it was five, I would say snap, but it's not. So now what would be one more than seven? Oh, snap. snap. Yep, so you get to keep these. Yay. So the race is we want to, the first one to say snap, okay? So you need to be looking at the card and you need to be thinking, what could I lay down that would be one more? And so if I laid down a seven, we would say snap as quick as we could, okay? Snap. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not a seven, so you can't snap. Okay, so now you go. And I also wasn't thinking, I didn't deal these out because I thought we were going to be holding them. We're not, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and deal out the rest of these. One. She snapped it, and so... That was less. Oh, it was less. This is a game that you could definitely incorporate one more or one less in it because we just accidentally did one less. So um, this is a game that we haven't really played before, but I think it's a game we might like to play a little bit more. So she wants to go ahead and keep playing with it as one more instead of one less. So here we go again.
So I think this is definitely a game that would be funner with possibly more people to kind of shuffle the deck up a little bit more or even the one one up one down because that would we would we had quite a few one downs but we just weren't getting one ups all right so we finished up all of our activities the very last thing here is our little pencil says to go to exercise one page one and this is coordinating with the workbook if you have seen any of my other videos on the kindergarten level you will know that this used to be color but it is now black and white and it's a little bit different as well because we have basics, practice, challenge, and to check understanding. So today we're going to do chapter one, numbers to 10. All right, so our basic number one is to match. All right, so we have all the numbers all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? So you are going to count the items and then draw a line like they did here. This was how many scissors? One. One. So you draw the line up to one. The answers for the workbook pages are in your teacher's book in the very back of the chapter. And it has the exercises here with the answers on all of these pages. And these will follow each chapter. After we have done quite a few lessons, what I will do is on the challenge part, that is a workbook that I give for her to do. And I will go ahead and go do some things that I need to get done. So we will do our lesson, we'll do the regular textbook together. And then after all the lesson is done, she will have the challenge of doing the workbook by herself. And so usually she would do that. After all the pages are done, she would turn it in. Since this is our first few lessons of 1A and it is slightly different, I am going to be sitting here to help her for the first few lessons. And so here she's finished page one and then she's going to have one more page here and it says to color how many. So it's telling you that there are four carrots and it wants you to color the amount of carrots that they're saying. Same thing mm -hmm. here. Okay. And then right here, they're wanting you to do 10 frames. So we have a little cup of colored pencils here that we'll just scoot over for her to use for that. Generally, she does not enjoy coloring much. So this is not something that I ask her to do very detailed. Um, I'm fine if she just wants to put a colored X on the amount that they're talking about. So I leave that completely open for her. So I'm gonna let her get to this. We'll finish this up and then we'll close it out. Consider yourself lucky. I think she's giving you a little art show today. She went ahead and colored all of them. Like I said, I wouldn't have cared if she wanted to just put an X on these, but I think she was giving you guys a good little example of what the children could do for their worksheet, and she did such a great job. She's going to go ahead and finish this up, and so are we. I hope that you enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up if you did, and find one of our videos and subscribe. That's right. Click that subscribe button for us. And I hope you're enjoying our celebration of the first week back to first grade by having some extra videos for you this week. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.